Hello everyone, welcome to BioTales. Today we are going to talk about Pacheco's disease. Pacheco disease is an acute, highly contagious and potentially lethal respiratory herpes virus infection in cetacean birds. Pacheco disease is a viral disease that affects primarily cetacean birds such as parrots, parakeets and macaws. The disease is caused by cetacean herpes virus 1 which is highly contagious and can spread rapidly through a flock of birds. It is considered as a serious and deadly viral infection and early diagnosis and treatment by a veterinarian are critical to the bird's survival. Pacheco disease is most common in homes with multiple birds and aviaries. The disease is rare in individual companion birds unless they have recently been exposed to infected birds. Let's see what are the symptoms of Pacheco's disease. The symptom in Pacheco disease in birds can vary depending on the severity of the infection. Some common symptoms include swelling of the head and neck, respiratory distress, neurological signs such as blindness and lethargy, depression, loss of appetite, diarrhea, dehydration, fever, and sudden death. It is important to note that many of these symptoms can also be caused by other illness and conditions, so a diagnosis of Pacheco's disease should be confirmed by a veterinarian. Now let's see what is the cause of this disease. Pacheco disease is caused by an avian herpes virus called Cetacid herpes virus type 1. The virus is highly contagious and can spread quickly among birds in a flock. Birds can become infected through direct contact with an infected bird or through contact with a contaminated surface such as feeders, water dishes, and perches. The virus can also be spread through air or by exposure to contaminated dust or feeders. Stress, poor nutrition, and other health issues can also make birds more susceptible to infection. Once bird is infected, the virus can lay dormant in the bird's body for a long period of time before reactivating and causing an outbreak of Pacheco's disease. This means that a bird can be a carrier of virus and not show any signs of illness but still be able to infect other birds. Now we see how this Pacheco disease can be diagnosed. The diagnosis of Pacheco's disease in bird can be challenging as the symptoms can be similar to those of other illness and conditions. A veterinarian may use a combination of diagnostic methods to confirm a diagnosis of Pacheco's disease which can include physical examination. A veterinarian will examine the bird for signs of swelling, respiratory distress and neurological signs, clinical pathology, blood works, Urinalysis and other diagnostic tests may be performed to evaluate the bird's overall health. Microscopic examination. A sample of the bird's blood, saliva, and other body fluids may be examined under a microscope to look for the presence of virus. Polymerase chain reaction PCR. A PCR test can be used to detect the presence of virus in a sample of the bird's blood, saliva, or other body fluids. Culture. A sample of the bird's blood, saliva, or other body fluid may be cultured in a lab to detect the presence of virus. Serology A blood test may be performed to detect antibodies to the virus which can indicate a current or past infection. It is important to note that a definitive diagnosis may be challenging in some cases and a combination of different diagnostic methods may be needed to confirm Pacheco's disease. Now we see that how this disease can be treated. Treatment of Pacheco's disease in bird can be challenging as there is no cure for the virus. Treatment primarily focuses on controlling symptoms and preventing the spread of virus to the other birds. A veterinarian may recommend the following treatment options. Antiviral medication. Antiviral medication such as Acyclovir may be prescribed to help control the replication of virus and reduce symptoms. Supportive care. Birds with Pacheco's disease may require supportive care such as fluid therapy, oxygen therapy, and nutrition support to help them recover. Isolation. Infected birds should be isolated to prevent the spread of virus to other birds. Disinfection. 
all areas and items that have come into contact with an infected bird should be thoroughly disinfected to prevent the spread of virus. It is important to note that Pachaco disease can be fatal in some cases and even with treatment, the bird may not recover. In some cases, euthanasia may be the most humane option. Also, vaccination may be considered as preventive measure in some cases to protect birds against the virus. However, it is important to consult a veterinarian for proper guidance and management. Recovery from Pacheco disease in birds can vary depending on the severity of the infection and the bird's overall health. Some birds may recover fully with proper treatment while others may have permanent damage or may not survive. Birds that do recover will likely require ongoing monitoring and care to ensure that the virus does not cause further complication. They may be carrier of virus and capable of infecting other birds, so they should be isolated from other birds to prevent the spread of disease. The recovery process can take weeks to months and during this time, the bird will require intensive support care and monitoring by veterinarian. It is important to be mindful that bird may not be able to return to its previous level of activity and may have permanent neurological and respiratory damage. It is important to note that preventing exposure to the virus is the best way to protect birds from Pachaco disease and regular veterinary checkup, proper nutrition, and a stress-free environment can help keep birds healthy and less susceptible to infection. So that was all about Pachaco disease. If you like our video, subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon for further notification. Thank you.